In any list of the most influential men in American life, you'll find the predictable political leaders, commentators, and tycoons. But one name that keeps cropping up is none of those things. He advises presidents. He was a mythic figure. Confers with the Pope. We heard these stories about this legend. He is chairman of the Rockefeller Foundation. My God, how many lives did this man live? He is Father Theodore Martin Hesburgh, president of the University of Notre Dame. Oh boy, here we go. Father Hesburgh had an extraordinary ability to reach across lines. We all ought to be protesting against many of the things we see in modern life. I heard from some he was a very progressive liberal, from some he was a very conservative man of the cloth. Father Hesburgh was a giant of the civil rights movement. We are verging towards two societies, one black and one white, and that wouldn't be America, I don't think. He was asked to join Martin Luther King in Chicago. He was aware of threats made against him and other civil rights leaders. His only response was, when do you want me there? Robert Anson, Time Magazine, is presumed captured by the Viet Cong. He put his AK to my forehead, and I knew I was digging my own grave. I knew exactly one word of Vietnamese, peace. Father Hesburgh called the Pope, and he said, unless you can intervene, he'll be dead. You're one of the most influential men in this country, aren't you? I don't think I'm trying to be. I know a lot of people. A lot of it's just power of friendship. U.S. Commission on Civil Rights it was going nowhere. The president called Father Ted. Father Hesburgh became the conscience of the country. We've got a funny problem with Hesburgh. He's always attacking us. Let's kill him with enemies. He wasn't afraid of anybody. And we don't prove anything by burning something down. We prove something by building it up. Being a priest is an isolated life. There's no family, there were no kids to raise. He did that to be a father to all people. He could bring people together. That's the kind of leader we need today. We just don't have those kind of figures anymore. I just owe him everything.